Oh God. <laughs> yeah, on the break, these Lizzo's noticed Dave, and you're like, oh, we gotta stop. We must come for you, for Dave. Warp two. I think I know what we can do here. Okay. Warp two. No, 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 no. The no, the, the, the peak again that we were on. Down. Wait. That here? one. Yes. Because I guarantee you, they would not have that island out in the middle of nowhere without having a shrine there. So let's let's like fly can out you, there. Can you imagine not being on the fast travel when combat, kind of like in Skyrim? Yeah, or in like Fallout. Fallout does that too. Yeah, that would suck, man. Mm -hmm. Oh no, I noticed it. No. I noticed oh. that you're a filthy fucking degenerate. You're behind you. Even the wind's with you, dude. No, turn around. Well, obviously we're going off. No, 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 not that way either. Dave, do you have any sense of fucking direction? Behind the shrine! About it. See that island out there? Yeah. Go there. How's that, Dad? Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. Wait, can you go to those even further islands over there? Probably not. Why not, though? Look at them. Look kind of camera. Can you move the camera while you're... Yeah, you can. They look like they're there. Dad, you really want to go, go up to Koholand? Yeah, why not? This one is the hardest shrine challenge in the game for a reason. Is not it really? For fuck's sake. Well, I mean, we're going here anyway, so let's go see it. Uh, no, Dev. Okay, at the very least, let's get to it and unlock the warp point so we can go back if we can't beat it. Yeah, eat eat some food. Eat some... Eat some sh Don't fall! <laughs> Just eat some stamina food and fly again. Dev? Yes? I'm doing this thing called, um, you're a cuck. That had no reason to, 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 to do that, Dave. <laughs> Devo, you know that Dave Nix is bad at hub worlds and therefore open worlds. Sounds about right. Wait, is this actually Colohent? Like, this is the Link's Awakening Island? Man, Link didn't get shipwrecked that far off course on that it's game. It's one of the shrines to reveal and you beat a quest. No. Are you serious? Oh, for fuck's sake. Well, hold on, hold on. No, no, Just wait, though. Can we do the quest right now? Or do we have to come back here later and do Jeff it? Why do you want to spend like a billion years doing some fucking quest that'll probably weigh you after you get the Master Sword? You're gonna, you're, you're gonna, you gotta, so eat, you gotta eat more, you gotta eat more. No, I'm, I'm not. I'm just gonna fucking. No, work let's away wait from for the McLaughlin's verdict here, okay? Oh my god. Actually, wait, zoom in on the map. You, you can, can try. try. Okay, it's oh, gonna be. Good god. Fine, we won't do it, but zoom in on the map though. I wanna see. It is Coho Hint. Coho Lit. Dude. Oh, okay, well, it's the same fucking. It's just. You see, Toronto Beach. Man, this is it. It's, it's where the it's where the windfish I, was. I, I'm just I'm just gonna load from where we were, okay? Yeah, fine. You just can't appreciate the nostalgia of this game, dude. Like, I I do. Man, I just don't just... want to be a dumbass about it. You just don't. Yeah, understand. I'm not. I'm not gonna force myself. Dave, Dave, you have to understand. Oh my god. <laughs> coming hard mode, chat stomach meter, not a hunger meter. No matter how much food you can eat at once, that'd be actually be interesting. Okay, let's warp to. Back to the back to the jungle then, and go through the jungle path. There's probably going to be some no more shrines shit. there. Hey, don't get, yeah, Feron Tower. It's probably between here and and, and there, so I'll we'll probably just go this now and then here and there. Let's go this one and go west. Breath of the Wild XL. Oh my God. Want to play Link's Awakening again? No. It was a good game. It wasn't as good as I remember. No, it wasn't. <laughs> it really wasn't. It had a great soundtrack and some 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 like unique gameplay ideas, but otherwise it wasn't that good. Raw man, why are you why are you shutting? Does David next appreciate this? Isn't his wait? Or what that happened that between shit? Marie and Romad? I don't know. You guys get into a fight? I think he put his foot in his mouth. I think he does that every single fucking time we do a stream. <laughs> <laughs> well then, maybe you should stop shoplifting so goddamn much. <laughs> I appreciate things that isn't hipster normal fag shit. Um, no, nah, Dave doesn't appreciate shit, man. It's like only the Beatles. It's more Avery than me, but it's still you. Yeah. Well, it's fine. Uh, Mason like jars, that, so. uh, thick rim glasses, uh, fucking tight ass jeans and plaid. Oh my God. 
Hey, why is Matapasta crying suddenly? Because. So, there's probably something in there, dude. He's probably not the real. No, in, no, in the in the leaf pile. That's probably a Korok. Anything unique's a Korok. Oh, do you gotta get like a Korok leaf and blow it? Yeah. Is there a Korok leaf around? I don't think so. There's giant slimes though. Yeah, anything that's like remotely unique looking in the world is like, cat's okay, that's Korok spot. <laughs> you know what I mean? Being able to tell someone doesn't get enough sex and point at Rumet because of the Gerardo comment. <laughs> uh, uh, um, here, uh, let me burn, oh, burn it. Okay, go back and burn it then. You have like fire weapons, don't you? You have fire arrows. I fire arrows, yeah. Yeah. Like, I don't, I don't necessarily make fun of people for being virgins. Like, that was like a, high, a very high school thing to do, you know? Yeah, You've high, school, lead high school, yet? college type thing. Yeah. Like, I don't really care. And honestly, you shouldn't either. Like, let me put it this way. Uh, it'll happen, like, not, not just having sex, just anything in life. Do it at your own pace, man. Don't worry about what other people think. <gasps> oh, how could you do this to me? <laughs> Dave next needs to be more excited about the game. Yeah, I know, dude. He just... He has no soul. You found me! But yeah, like... That was I the just point. dropped the fucking rock in his head. Okay, well then... <laughs> <laughs> well, there there we go, Marie. I guess we're on the same page. But, but yeah, like... Don't don't worry about it. Like, don't worry about... If, if, you, have, if you haven't gotten laid yet... You'll it, get some of that Grudel pussy someday. It, <laughs> <laughs> no, it, it doesn't really matter. Sex, in the long term, in the long term, doesn't, does not matter. It's like, it's not important. Like, what, what long-term goals are accomplished solely by having sex? Being a prostitute. If that's your fucking goal. <laughs> sure. No, but, like... Not easy to get across, and I'm joking. That's fair. Because I repeat the comments sometimes because Dave does, and Dave wanted to repost the comment. Um, no, I noticed it. Yeah, and I, I, I actually, it. I, I, think I, I think I replied to it, too. You probably just didn't hear me. Cause you're just too busy jacking it to fucking Gerudo porn. <laughs> God damn. Breath of the Wild 2, Zelda wasn't Zelda. What? Having a kid, but like, if your only goal is to have a kid, you're an idiot. If your goal is to like, have a family with a stable partner, that takes more than sex. You know what I mean? What I mean. Sex is only a component of that. Like, having sex by itself fulfills no goals, so it's not important. It becomes important in tandem with other things, but it's not something in and of itself to actually be actively seeking. Oh. Mountain has a side quest, but no shrine. Oh, are you kidding? Fuck. Yeah, we're going for the shrines at the moment, guys, because we're one away from the Master Sword. I didn't even get laid the first time until 21 or so. I recently didn't turn 30. <laughs> Once you have a family, we'll be having any more six anyway. <laughs> Dave wants to have a family? Uh, I'll be honest with you, I wouldn't mind a family, but it's going to be a family of, like, me and a partner and fucking pets. <laughs> There's going to be no kids involved in my family. That's for goddamn sure. Is there a... Oh, this is the, this is the path behind uh, that town, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, just head back up. A lot of people think Spoonie went nuts because of April. Spoonie was nuts. Sp Spoonie went nuts because Scarlet dumped him. April was like the icing on the cake. You've always been like a fence sitter regarding the family thing anyway, eh? Like, yeah. you, you come back from your sisters and you see like her Kodak moments with her, with her kid and her husband and you're like, I want that. And then like, you know, reality sets in and you're like, Dave, you know, there's actual really shit moments and lots well, of pressure. Work. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's lots of like bad parts about it too, dude. Like, it's not all sunshine and rainbows. You only see that because you're a visitor. And you're like, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. I can't have oh, kids. I wasn't allowed to have them even if I wanted them. Oh, shit. I, I like to be in your position. I don't want kids either. Having to go through the, the bullshit of, of having to... What are you doing? Oh, fuck. What are you doing? Oh. I need to unequip this. Okay. Yeah. Basically, need to use nothing but. I'm gonna stretch your back and move around a bit very carefully. Still hurts from the spinal tap. Jesus, that's that's a rough scenario, dude. Mm. 
bananas. You already have a kid, it's Naomi. <laughs> in, in a sense. God. Not, not as bad as it could be, though, to be frank. Why well, could be your dad? No, she's just more mature for most, than most 20-year-olds. Really, she is. I know she is. Like, imagine, think back to us Dude, at 20. I can't, I can't stand 20-year-olds, for the most part. Another radish. Nice. Some of them are right. Some of them are fairly mature, but there's definitely a, there's definitely enough of them that if are If you cross the bridge, there's a shrine hidden near the stable. Where's the bridge? Open the map. There's... Well, the map. Sure. Oh, that bridge, there. Yeah. That, like, curvy thing. Go down there, then. I can even see the shrine, I think. That's a cool, like, tree bridge. Oh. Naomi is mature for her age, yes. I wouldn't just call her straight up mature. She's mature. No. Dave, you were an idiot. You should have just gone across the bridge. Okay, Dev, I have all those things that uh, you had me eat when you had that ridiculous notion that maybe, <laughs> maybe I should go and... Oh, what the fuck? Maybe I should go and try to find Colin Island. Well, why not? It's awesome. Dev, I don't have a relationship with Dave Nix. Where the fuck are you swimming? Towards that the ship. You're not going to climb up? Fine, whatever. No. Take the drone out like I'm there. This is like one of the dumber things you've done today. Yeah, the <laughs> first dumb thing was talking to you and all. <laughs> I'm 22 and I think I'm more mature than Naomi. Well, that's because you're two years older than her. And two years does add a lot. You're going against the, top, the river. Oh my god. You're so dumb. <laughs> you're so Fine, dumb. Fine, I'll just go. Fuck, I'll just go here and I'll just. Well, we've lost all that fucking. I don't care, I'll just cook more. Uh, portable niche, cynicism is not maturity. Cynicism is what immature people think maturity is. Cynicism is basically disappointed optimism. Cynicism is like... It's useful, but it's not a universal thing. And if you think it is, if you think... Like, if you think, I'm just going to be cynical all the time, that's like a kid trying to act mature, basically. Or an adult is just really bitter. Yeah. Oh, how about that? Sunshine, lollipops, and rainbows. Wow. I agree with Dev and Dave. But I'm right and Dave's wrong, generally. <laughs> Dave. Ow. That's That's immature. <laughs> yes, it is. No one agrees with you, Matapasta, under your fucking fake ass name. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I want to take you to task for that one. It's one of the laws Dude, of the you're land. You're in Goro Crater. Wow. Oh, someone just got shot. Or released a firework. No, I saw it. It was a firework. It was like right outside our window. Was it really? Yeah. It was like just down the street. What the fucking idiot's doing that? Just a couple of houses down. Jesus Christ. There was like a giant flash in the window, man. Here's the stable. And there's going to be a shrine here. Yep. Let's get this final fucking shrine. It's been like 14 minutes. We're going to have to get the uh, Master Sword in the next episode, probably. Use my backwards as much as they had a few, few times to find the right nerves to press with the needle. Three tries didn't work, and the anesthesiologist had to come back three minutes later with a bigger needle. It felt like whatever nerve they were poking made it feel like the nerve was down the left thigh. Jesus. Okay, where the fuck is that shrine? When I say hidden, I mean hidden by Zelda 1 standards. What, you have to, like, burn a bush? No. To, like, uncover it? I could have sworn we saw it. On top of that cliff, maybe? So I was thinking, I just... Yeah, grab that trim. Just <laughs> every fucking time, you know... Well, where's the beeping coming from? This comes from this side. We'll just follow the beeping. Because the beeping is directional, remember? It's not like you're closing in on it. It means you're running in the right direction. Like you're facing it. Yeah, I know. So you, you're not facing it, so turn in a different direction. 
turn a different direction. It's on ground level. Don't need to climb. It's this way. It's over there, then. Maybe we need the torch. Did... Seriously, what the... F oh, there it is. Okay. That'll be easy. Ta-da. Good job. The shy Uto. Oh, you wish we come... What are you gonna just become the f fucking overmind? They position you to separate your vertebrae, and then puncture the center of your spinal column with a needle. God, guys. <laughs> oh god. You know what? You know what? <laughs> what? Halt the tilt. I feel great <laughs> about about only needing a filling. <laughs> Holy <laughs> fuck. You did it. You gotta do it again. I'm trying to see which one's the easier way to go. Oh, fuck. That was probably a chest up there. Up here? Yeah, see? Yes, it is. Then stab it. Will you play Outlast 2? Uh, I, don't, I don't have a copy of it, but... Oh, it's, it's, it's like a five... Yeah, fuck that. Um, we can play it for next Halloween, guys, if you want. Considering we played out, Outlast the first time. Last time, Naomi and I uh, went for sushi, like, without, like, without, it wasn't the, uh... The last time. Yeah, because the four of us went together. Uh, the last time, though, it was just the two of us. She watched the, uh, the Pargargart episode of our Outlast playthrough. That was absolutely fucking hilarious. God. Okay, well, Traveler's Sword, who gives a shit about yeah, that? who gives a shit? Oh, this is gonna be tricky. Why? Just freeze it? Can't you freeze that one now? No. How do you do it then? Um. Unless. Oh, get the, get the chest. What to weigh it down? Yeah. That's a good idea. This couple were living in a cabin, and there was a cactus in the living room. It had the tendency to shake at times. They cut the cactus open, and out came uh, like a billion spiders. <laughs> Just, and he's like, Jesus fucking. Good God. Yes, put it on the other side. Not on his platform. No. He's no. like, thank you for the gift. <laughs> I think we can solve it. I think we got this shit. I think that the towering intellect of Devo uh, has solved the puzzle, guys. How's it feel to be in the presence of such greats? I'll let you know when I find one. <laughs> also, there's another chest up there. Where? Up, up there. How do we get that? That's the wrong side. I'm aware of. I'm trying to get a viewpoint. You want you to do it like after you get up to the other platform. Look at that. Won't stay. No. Maybe, oh, maybe the other side. Yeah, the other side has a has a. Yeah, it'll stay on the other side. It has like a, a little wedge. It'll hold it in place. See. Done. I just time stop that one. And there you go. Let's get a good view of how, how the fuck do you... Maybe if, like, I think you have to time stop and then magnet it. Maybe. Sure. Yeah, I think so. Uh, there be we'll like just, we'll way, just try it. Would there be a way that I'd have to, you know, bounce my myself up or something? I don't think so. Using the seesaw like a kid does, like, jumping on it. So, like... Nope. No, I get it. Okay. Go, go on the bottom. Grab the thing, put it on the top, and like, yeah, you have to like bounce yourself up. And then maybe uh, fly over. So fucking awkward. 
Just, uh, what are you doing? Just I'm, tr up. I'm trying to get. There's a dot underneath where it should land, right? Yeah, I got it. Okay, there you go. You're good. Not quite. That's not gonna do it. It's not big enough. God's name. I don't think this is how you do it. Yeah, go ahead, Roman. That's fine. I'm also not standing far On the very there. edge, no. Standing at the edge, yeah. Dude, what are you... What are you doing? <laughs> I'm trying to get on the other side. Ouch. God. Shut up, Dad. Trying to suck it out, dicks. <laughs> okay, on the very edge. Oh, my. That's fine, it's fine. Yeah, yeah, we're good. We're all good here now. Thank you. We're at 21 minutes. Shut up, Dad. Okay, do it. Now glide. Oh my god, you next episode Dave will actually get it fucking right. Okay. 